Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy and today is the main dish installment of my collaboration with Miss Lee. So I can't wait to show you this recipe. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, my name is Miss Lee and my channel is called Healthy on a Budget. On my channel, I'm sharing how I lost over 18 pounds doing the start solution. Thank you, Stormy, for having me on your channel and letting me share today's recipe. Today's recipe is roasted honey nut squash with lentils. So if you'd like to see this recipe, then please keep watching. This is part of our Thanksgiving series that we're doing. We've shared recipes on each other's channels and today is a main dish. So I'm so excited to show you guys how this main dish came out and how easy it is and how starch solution friendly it is. So let's start. For my lentil stuffed honey nut squash, I'm gonna be starting out with five shallots and one clove of garlic. I already cut them up to make it easier. Then I'm going to be adding my golden lentils. These lentils are more delicate. So you need to watch them while they're cooking. I'm going to be rinsing these and adding them to the pot. And now I'm gonna be adding my one cup of lentils. Before I put it on the stove to cook, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasonings. So I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder, smoked paprika, veggie pepper, a little bit of the Trader Joe's Umami Seasoning Blend, and the Garlic and Herb Seasoning. Oops. Now I'm gonna cook this on medium heat for about 18 minutes or until the water is absorbed. Just wanted to show what was cooking. I have the lentils right here. And over here, I have the shallots and the garlic. And that's how they look for right now. While everything is cooking, I'm gonna be deseeding these and getting them ready to be baked and later filled. So I used honey nut squash. This is how it looks. This is a hole. Oh, well, anyway, I used honey nut squash. And the reason I used honey nut squash is because it's smaller and I felt like that could be an individual serving. And I just wanted to show a different variety of squash. So I'm gonna be taking out the seeds. Before I put it in the oven, I wanna add my seasonings. So I'm gonna use some paprika. Adding some onion, of course. And I'm gonna be adding some salt-free garlic and herb seasoning. And now these are in the oven at 415 degrees for about 25 minutes or until they are done. In the meantime, the onions and garlic is done. I turned it off already. And the lentils are almost done. And I do know that these will get kind of mushy, but I just liked the golden color and they're gonna be used kind of like a stuffing anyway. So it doesn't really matter, but you can use any other type of lentils if you want more whole lentils. These just came out of the oven and they are so nice and gooey and just delicious. So now I'm going to fill them. So these golden lentils do break down, but that's okay because I wanted a paste to fill the squash so it works out. It's gonna be taking the onion and the garlic from earlier. That is five shallots and one clove of garlic. It is so small, 
but that's okay. You can always make it tastier with some seasoning. I'm gonna be taking the lentils out. Now I'll be adding a little garlic salt. And a little bit of garlic powder. Now I'm going to start filling the honey nut squash. Now I'm gonna add a tiny bit of these cranberries. And then I'm just gonna decorate these with some cilantro. You don't have to do that, but I wanted to make it a little bit prettier and colorful. And this is the final presentation for your Thanksgiving table. Roasted honey nut squash filled with golden lentils. And there's cilantro and cranberries on top. And this is my final presentation for the Thanksgiving table. It is the honey nut squash with the lentil filling. And I just put the lentils back in the oven for a couple of minutes. You can have it either way. Either you can just fill it and be done with it, or you can toast it again in the oven for a couple of minutes until it's a little bit crispy. And this just looks beautiful. You got your 50-50 plate with your broccoli and you're all set. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Ooh.